All right, welcome back, guys, to episode seven of Dimensional Echoes. Um, I just hit the wrong button. Okay, so last we left off, and obviously I didn't stop playing from the last time we left off because it was only thirty minutes. Um, we were we we were trying to make a pickaxe. Oh no, an axe. I'm sorry. Duh. We we were trying to make an axe. And we were trying to get some of the metal that was in the smeltery onto the casting table, but it wasn't working. Now there's a little bit of aluminite, or aluminum in there, and this should work. Yeah, should be able to make a uh, ninga, of course. Now let me check something out. Material cost is only one. Yeah, that's what I figured. So material cost of eight would have been eight ingots, of course. And I don't know why I just took that. Well. There. So we have... We don't even need this, actually. Why is this in my hand? I don't know. Let's go put this back in this chest here. And you know what? Let's put the aluminum in there. We don't need that right now. Let's check our to-do list. What did we do? We did... We made an axe. So... We did one thing. Let's start adding other things here. Make a house. Okay. Oops. I thought you were I thought you were able to press enter to be able to go down. Um so clear area. Um I know that's vague. And actually that's pretty much out of order. Uh what else? We have make house clear area. Trying to think here what we can do. I mean, there's tons of stuff we can do actually. There's dimensions we can go into. For example, we can go into the uh, Twilight Forest, but we need a diamond and some, some daisies, some flowers. But we don't have enough of either, and I, don't, I didn't mean to do that. I was actually trying to open up my inventory. We don't have enough of, of anything right now, of course. We're pretty much uh, clearing out the trees over here. Um, and then, of course, we can gather these saplings, which will allow us to uh, to have some sort of tree farm. Or at least to keep the sakura trees, because those are pretty good. I mean, they're made of good wood. And not just because their leaves are pink. I'm talking about the actual wood itself burns into uh, this. And this is this is some pretty good wood. It's uh, it's kind of a lightish color. And let me see. We'll we'll start clearing out. And I know this this looked nice with all the trees, but we'll start clearing all these trees. Make this look barren here. So that way we can plan where we're going to build our house. Kind of level this area, make it leveled so that way it looks like something. And I said something about build craft, remember? But of course that's probably going to come much later. We need uh, we need diamonds. And unfortunately we don't have uh, we don't have diamonds. At least I don't think we have diamonds. So oh, you know what? Let's build some storage units, some chests. And let's build tons of them. Now, why? Basically because we're going to need them later on for storing stuff from our, our quarry. Let's make a quarry. And, yep. How many did I have? I had four. And you know, six is good enough for now. And yeah, it's lagging a bit. It's not a good, uh, not the best computer. But hopefully I'll get some parts that will upgrade and make this much more faster. Lag-free computer. But of course it costs money, you know. So, it'll take some time.
And yeah, this might be the most boring part right now, actually. Um, I mean, there there are tons of trees all over the place. And uh, but see, that's the beauty of having this axe. Is wait, what did it say? Stonebound? I don't know what stonebound means on there. But anyway, this makes it much easier because it chops all the wood that's that's on this tree that's on all these trees so if you strike the bottom the bottom block with this it will take all of the wood that's in there and then of course all of all the leaves will decay in time see even even these leaves haven't uh, decayed yet oh that, that's because it's got one piece up there let's make our way all the way up there and then we'll be able to get that one piece Oh, there, you know what? There might be other pieces in here. I didn't even think about that. If it's not physically connected to the, the center piece, then it's gonna not, it's not gonna break. <coughs> nope, and I'm not gonna be able to get to it. You know what? If I go down here, I can hit this, and they will all come down, see? Oh, all except for that. Okay, well. Oh no. Lag. Alright. We're getting a lot of good wood here. You know what? Let's store it in the center chest here. Wood, wood, wood. I know. We don't we don't we do not we're not taking up a whole lot of space right now, but pretty good idea to store this stuff right now. And so many saplings. Yeah, this is this is probably going to take a while. You know what? I might chop this part. Just give me one second, guys. Yeah, I'm experiencing a lot of lag. Holy crap. Holy cow. Laggy today. I don't like lag. Nope. Okay, well, give me one second here, guys. Um, all right, so give me give, give me one second. I'll be right back. Just let me uh, let me take care of this, and that should be it. So, all right, we're we're back. We got almost almost all of it done. Uh, still got the front part to do. Um, just came over here, and yeah, I mean, I've already seen this, but uh, this whole area is going to be fixed up at some point in time. Maybe try to I might try to level it out or something. I don't know. Um, nice time to go picking apples. But yeah, definitely going to fix it up. I don't know if I'm going to keep this uh, this pond here. But it it we'll think of it. We'll think it. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Or I'll figure it out. I mean, over here I still have this little wheat farm. Well, actually, barley farm, which was supposed to go over there, but uh, I didn't get that far. And you know what? Using the excavator, we should be able to uh, clear this out uh, until lag starts happening. Yeah, it's lagging up a bit. And I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how I managed that. Oh! Current's got me. Oh, you know what? I can use this this sand for uh, making some uh, parts there, making some grout. Unfortunately, I can't swim in here. Yeah, I don't know why it's particularly laggy tonight. Tonight, um, during this recording, but yeah. All right. Well, when I come back, guys, we'll uh, we'll have at least the front part taken care of, 
and some of this over here too. So we'll have the front and some of this part taken care of. And that tree up there, that tree is having a hard time dying, isn't it? I mean, look at that. It's still, it's still together. Well, somewhere, somewhere in there, there's got to be a piece of wood. It's got to be a block of wood that, uh, that is still there holding the tree together. And let me see if we can find it. If we can find it very quickly. And apparently, oh, there it is. So that one. And, oh wow, they're hid They're definitely hidden somewhere in there. When you have a big tree like that, there's definitely going to be wood. A wood block somewhere inside. Now let me see, where else is there... Where else is there another block of wood? There's got to be one somewhere in here. I mean, this is a, this is a very big... I mean, I could have made a fort out of this. <laughs> I could have made an actual tree fort out of this. This could have been a tree house. But, you know what? That gives a good idea. That's a real good idea. Alright, well, I'll be back, guys. Well, it looks like this thing's really, really fighting back here. I I swear. It's not... It's still up there. I mean, it's... This was a beast of a tree. And now look at it. It's just... It's taking its, its sweet time dying. So, yeah, that's, I'm going to have to do that off camera. Um, all these still have to be taken care of. So, give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, back, guys. As you can see, the uh, big tree is practically almost gone. I mean, there's still a few leaves, but uh, it's dying. It's dying down. This takes its time. Slowly dying. And I got all this cleared out here, but uh, as you can see, it, that too is taking a while. A lot of saplings, a lot of saplings. Um, not much that we really, really, really need, but uh, we, we can grab all this stuff. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a hoarder, so. Oh, also, uh, we're gonna need to grab some of these uh, dandelions. I know, I know, it's not manly, but you know what? This is for one of the dimensions that we have in here called the Twilight Forest. And the only way to get to the Twilight Forest is to have. Uh, these dandelions all laid around um, a 2x2 two two block area with water in it. And you take a diamond and you throw the diamond in. And that pr pretty much creates a portal. But you don't want to stand near this thing when this, uh, when this goes off. So that's 12 dandelions that go around the 2x2 two two block area. And uh, do we have enough? No. Well, we, I see plenty over there. And we still got saplings falling. 43 sakura saplings. That's pretty cool. I happen to like the sakura trees. The, uh, your, your, uh, Japanese trees. They actually stand for cherry blossoms, I believe. So let me see. We are heading back to base here. Well, actually, this is not base. This is pretty much, uh, base for this area. Our little operation. Or I wouldn't say little. Eat another sapling. Let's grab this one, too. Okay, so let's put our saplings in here, our saplings there, and wow, we have tons of saplings. So let's go over to this crafting table, and there's something I want to show you guys. There's another mod I forgot to mention in the last episode, in episode 6, um, that I had actually installed. I might have... I put it in the list, and I'm sorry that I didn't mention it. It is called the uh, Carpenter's Blocks mod. And give me a second. I'm trying to uh, trying to make what I need. Okay, so ta-da! We got a Carpenter's Block. And let me see. How many can we make these? Now, there's a way of making, I'm not sure, car, carpenter's blocks. There's a way of making a carpenter's chisel. 
and that's an iron ingot and one of those carpenter's blocks. I know I just jumped ahead. And we so happen to have an iron ingot somewhere around here, I believe. Upstairs. Up where the smelter is. Or at least, don't we? No, I thought we did. I'm almost sure we do. Iron ingot, good. We can make... We can make it, so... We take the iron ingot, we put it up top, we take one of these uh, carpenter's blocks, and poof, we got our carpenter's chisel. Now, there's a carpenter's hammer, which requires three iron ingots and two of the carpenter's blocks. So let's, let's put those aside for now. We need one, two, two of those. Put that right there, and uh, oh, we don't even have enough room block of tin. You know what, we need, we need to really be a little more organized, right? So let's grab this out, put that back in there. And... Oh. Migmatite? No, I don't need Migmatite. I need more, I need more chests, honestly. More, more chests. You can never have too many chests, believe it or not. And let me see, I should really... No, I don't want that in the center. Um, I should really make some sort of storage room or area. And let's, uh, let's start that over... Hmm. You know what? We can start that over here. We can change everything around later on, so... I mean, I know we have one kind of going on over there, but, uh... Yeah. So let's put our, our metals there. Any type of metals we get, ores and whatnot, we, we'll put in this one. We'll put all of our wood in here. So all of our wood will go in there. And some dirt and sand and whatnot. We'll just keep a stack right here for later on use. Alright, so... What is it? Clear area? Check. We cleared the area. Because the area is pretty much cleared. This is where our house is going to go, guys. Somewhere in this area. We might have to um, do this. Lower this area here. And, uh, let me see. We have to lower this area here. And we might have to level this out. We might have to put some dirt going that way. Or we might have to level this whole entire spot out. But that's something I will do uh, off camera, actually, to make things a little more uh, less boring. Unless you guys want want to see me do all this uh, clearing, that's all it's going to be is that. I mean, you you got to admit, the excavator tool from the Tinkerer's Construct is the best. It's, it's got to be the best because I mean, look at it. It just clears a three by three area. That takes a long time just for one shovel. Well, not totally a long time, but it, it, it is quite uh, cumbersome. Or quite rep repetitious. Um, or repetitive. Repetitive, I'm sorry. It's quite repetitive to have to constantly do that with one shovel. While this just clears three blocks. No, not three. Nine blocks, because it's a three by three area. And it does its, it does so in like one second. Boom. Nine blocks taken care of. And of course it does this with sand, so it makes it so easy to, to go get gravel, dirt, uh, gravel, sand, dirt, and even clay. So clay, gravel, and, and sand are the things obviously needed for Tinkerer's Constructs. Seared bricks. So that makes this tool practically, practically useful. So it's something you want to you want to make in the beginning when you when you first use Tinkerer's construct, or when you first get a smeltery. Uh, hammer is also another good thing because, as you can see, it pretty much takes out a three by three area, just like just like the excavator. 
And um, I will demonstrate by coming down here and showing you guys how much it takes out. Um, if I can make my way over here and yeah it's a it's a tad bit laggy and the thing is is it sometimes kind of ignores certain blocks like this which is which is interesting but you can still mine this block out unfortunately and endium oh wait no I'm sorry I mispronounced it and the meum um, endemium ore actually requires a silver, oh no, I'm sorry, iron pickaxe. And since our, um, since our hammer is only made of stone, it won't, uh, it won't mine out the endemium because it requires a so, um, an iron pickaxe. And, like I said, this hammer is pretty much stone, so it's at the equivalent of a stone pickaxe. So this is not the tool we, we need to, uh, to mine that out. But this is a good tool to use to mine out large areas. We can mine out pretty much uh, iron. Um, if, you want, if you want the iron ore, it's pretty much simple to mine out with this. And see? So it's a good way of getting a lot of iron. And you can pretty much use it to get to, not the Promethean ore. Um, to get coal, and I think maybe oh the Sirtis quartz. You can use it to get Sirtis quartz. Okay, well, I've got to find some way to get back up here because I'm not going to mine myself all the way down there. And let me see. Did I get some of that? Yeah. Okay, so I got some of the Surtis Quartz that was there. Oh, wow. Oh, good. We could definitely use the Surtis Quartz. This stuff here is for applied energistics, too. We can make an ME system, which is a storage a storage unit, a store, uh, network storage uh, system, which allows you to store thousands and thousands of items. And you can actually... Um, it acts as a crafting table too, depending on which part of the uh, which block you're, you're using. Let me see. It's the applied energistics. So if you have, yeah, wait. Give me a second here. If you had um, ah, spatial IO port, I don't know what that does, but. <laughs> If you had an ME controller, um, no, if you had a, what was it, there was a crafting table, okay, yeah. if you had the cell workbench, you could craft stuff, like a crafting table, but that means you can pull stuff out of the ME chest, you get like ME chest, ME drive, okay, well, I know it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about, and you're kind of, kind of right, but not entirely. Um, I haven't really used the Applied Energistics much, but I do know that the ME Drive, and it's a bit complicated for me to, it's a little bit hard for me to explain it, but the ME Drive is for uh, putting like chips in there, you can change the amount of storage you have, and your ME Chest, which is pretty much where your items are, are being stored, the ME Interface, um, let me see, where's the ME terminal? Where is the ME terminal? Okay, well, I don't know where the ME term terminal is. Um, matter condenser, but ME terminal, there's got to be an ME terminal. Okay, ME security terminal, this is for, if you had like a multiplayer, you can make it so that way no other, no other person can access your, um, your ME system. Um, spatial I.O. port, I think, not 100% certain on what that one's for. The crystal growth accelerator is used to um, grow other Sirtis Quartz, pure Sirtis Quartz crystals. I mean, quantum link chamber. 
I believe that's for wireless connection. And this wireless receiver is for the wireless connection. And I gotta find some of these, but that's all stuff we'll get into later. Right now, I guess the main thing is trying to build a house. And I wanna exit that, okay. We have some uh we have some silver from Metallurgy 4. Ah, good. I mean that's what that's the beauty of having a hammer, is so you can mine all of this all of this ore and stuff. But again, we can't really grab that and and uh, how do you pronounce it? Endium. Endemium. So we can't really mine out the end endemium until we have a sil uh, silver, I'm sorry, iron pickaxe. Why do we keep calling it silver? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let's hop back up here. And it's still daytime. Cool. And we even have... Yeah. We can even grab some of this stuff. Of course it's a bit laggy, so you're gonna have to bear with me guys. I do apologize. I'm hoping, I'm hoping at least sometime in the future, within this month within uh this month or next month, that I get a chance to actually start, you know, ordering parts that are for a better for a better computer. Either a new build or an upgrade to this one. Um it's a bit complicated due to the fact that I gotta look at how much money it costs and and uh, form factor of, of the motherboard and stuff like that but I definitely want to make this a little more easier because frankly trying to play this game and recording at high definition is, uh, is a bit painful because it's not not giving me much um not giving me much help and let me see I will grab I have a so I don't I have iron yeah I have plenty of iron I even have my ingots now it's better with the tinkerer's construct to put all of your ores into the smeltery because it doubles ore production now you see how I have six ores here I put them in, and those six will become 12 ingots. Remember, six ores here. Oh, guys, it's almost the end of the episode here. Okay, well, quick thing here. I want to show you guys what I mean by this doubles the, um, the ore production. So you might have seen it before, but if you haven't, here it is. Six iron ores which should turn into six ingots. When that's done smelting, you'll see how many ingots come out of it. This is a real good way of getting um, more ingots. And let me see, it should take a bit. It's got to be done right about now. There it is. 12 ingots. Did you just see that, guys? 12 ingots just from that. And we had what? Six ores. So it should have been six ingots. If you had placed it in one of these furnaces right here, these regular Minecraft furnaces, the vanilla Minecraft furnaces, we would end up with just six ingots. No, no, no. Well, we don't want six ingots. We want the 12 ingots. Now, how many ingots does it take to make a block? Just nine. So if you think about it, you subtract 9 from 12, that you get about 3 left over. That's enough to make one, uh, one iron pickaxe. So we can make a block and one iron pickaxe. So there's our first ingot. There's our second, and this should be our third. And there, we're all set. And let's just go, oops, yeah, that doesn't help. Um, let's make, let's make a stick. 
and then let's make our uh, iron pickaxe. We're going to need this to pick up our diamonds when we find them. Because we're not going to use rocky, um, I was going to say rocky, we're not going to use basher here, our stone hammer, to pick up our um, diamonds because it's just a stone hammer. And stone really doesn't pick up uh, diamonds. What we're going to use in, in exchange is um, our silver, our iron pickaxe, I'm sorry. And that's what we're going to use to uh, take pretty much get our our diamonds. Now I said I I said I was going to show. I know I was going to get into to um, making a quarry, but that's going to take a lot. So that'll that'll be in an uh, episode or two from now. I'm going to have to go down there and start to collect a lot of materials. Um, we do have our smeltery, as you can see, and actually we could probably make it a little. We can make it a bit higher because this goes up to about six blocks, I believe. Um, so right now we have one, two, three and four blocks high. And four blocks, I mean if you think about it, nine times four is is what? Um it's a lot. It's like uh I don't know, I'm gonna if you want me to do the math off the top of my head, I thought it was uh was it I was gonna say thirty six. No. Um I'm terrible at math. <laughs> um but uh, Nine, let me see, nine times nine, no, nine, nine plus nine is obviously 18. And if you double that, yeah, 36. So, yeah, 30, 36 of those. Uh, so we got silver, let me see, do we have any? No. Well, anyway, that's for, uh, that's for another time. Right now, we got our dandelions for our, um, Twilight Forest dimension portal. And, uh, let's... So let's go. I'm going to show you this. Okay. So this is a carpenter's block. If I if I click on it, um, it should have been do, it should have been able to do something. Oh, you know what? Click on that. Now it's got something. Okay. Now it looks like something, and it uses up, I believe, the material that you just changed it to. What it is, is it will disguise itself or, you know, take the form of whatever. I'm, I'm not using this um, iron block. I'm going to break it after. Trust me. If I use, let, let's say, this iron block, the iron block will vanish and the carpenter's block will take the shape of that. But if I click on it, I can make the iron block look different. Now, doesn't that look pretty cool? The same thing with this. I can make it look like pretty trippy. Um, so it really makes makes it look like pretty cool, and then you can uh, I believe you can change its shape. Oh yeah, no, no, you can change its shape with the hammer, but I don't have the hammer right now. So let's let's break this and let's get our uh, materials. As you can see, once I broke the carpenter's block, I also got the block of iron back and the cobblestone. So, alright guys, that's the end of the episode. I know this one was a little bit longer than the others, than the other one, but uh, I'll try to do better. Um, till then, as always, take care. And again, if you did like this video, please hit the um, hit the like button. And let me, you know, it, I took a lot of work on making this and uh, editing it. So, if you liked it, please hit that uh, hit that like button. And if you want, subscribe or even comment. But as always, take care.